Hey guys, what's up? Here's Max. If there's one thing that the movie Dragon Ball Super Superhero did well, it gave an evolution of power to Gohan, who is one of the most beloved characters in the franchise, but who hasn't shown for a long time when it comes to power. But in this movie, Akira Toriyama solved that problem by giving Gohan a new transformation, which he called Gohan Beast. This transformation is very controversial, since although fans like the idea of Gohan becoming more powerful, the truth is that this transformation was introduced very suddenly, and there was no explanation about the origin of this power. But regardless of anything, the truth is that Gohan became very powerful after reaching this form. And something that many wonder is what would happen if Gohan, with all this potential, was trained by Whis? Also, what will happen if Gohan Beast faced the other most powerful Saiyans in history, like Goku, Vegeta, and Brawly? In this video, we'll take a better look at all of that. Stay connected to the channel and let's go to the video. On the Beerus planet, Goku and Vegeta are facing each other in a sparring match while Brawly is meditating. Beerus is lying in a chair as he relaxes, but when he looks at Whis, he notices that the angel isn't paying attention to the three Saiyans, training as he normally does. Whis is completely ignoring what Brawly, Goku, and Vegeta are doing, and instead of paying attention to them, the angel is concentrating on something he watches through his staff. Beerus is curious and asks what Whis is watching, and he replies that recently another warrior from Universe 7 caught his attention, and that warrior is on Gohan. This moment is taking place a few weeks after the situation involving Cell Max, so everybody already knows about what happened on Earth. As the situation was resolved, Goku and Vegeta didn't care much, and even though they knew that Gohan and Piccolo increased their powers, they didn't know about the matter in detail, so they thought it was a small evolution. Whis, on the other hand, has taken an interest in them and has been watching what they're up to. By the way, at this very moment, Whis is watching something that is happening on planet Earth. But before I tell you what Whis is watching on his staff, I want to say something. If you've known our channel for a while, you're sure to know Dragon Ball Hakai, the story where Goku became a god of destruction. If you know the story, you know that it is made up with a lot of dedication for you, and we do our best in everything that involves this plot. But unfortunately, the time has come when we are no longer able to keep the story alone, and that's why we started a Patreon where fans of the story can collaborate for the continuation of the production of the chapters. If you like Dragon Ball Hakai, want to see this story continue and can help us, please do it. We're looking forward to producing more and more chapters of this story, telling about how the fight between Goku and Odisu will end and what will happen in the universes now. We already have a lot of content written, but we can't continue with the production of the chapters yet. But there is very little left to reach our goal, so your participation can be decisive in this campaign. The link to our Patreon is in the video description, so check it out as there are cool benefits for those who collaborate with us. We're counting on you. Now let's continue with the video. On planet Earth, Gohan and Piccolo were in the hyperbolic time chamber in Kamisama's temple. They were very concentrated and staring at each other. Piccolo asks if Gohan is ready and he replies that he is. At that moment, both begin to concentrate a lot of power. And then Piccolo transforms into his orange form. And Gohan transforms into his bestial form. Both emanate their powers with great intensity. The first to attack is Gohan, who catches up with Piccolo in the blink of an eye, and lands a punch on him. And that punch is strong enough to knock Piccolo off his feet and drag him along the ground for several meters before he finally manages to get back on his feet. But when he stands up, Piccolo already receives another attack from Gohan. And this attack doesn't throw him far, but causes a lot of pain to the Namekian, who tries to respond by taking advantage of Gohan's proximity to launch a wave of energy against him that comes out of his mouth. Gohan defends the energy, but is carried away by it until he finally manages to deflect it. Piccolo takes advantage of Gohan's distraction with the energy to appear behind him and attempt to strike, but Gohan easily dodges and counters the Namekian with an attack, making Piccolo retreat again. But as he retreats, he stretches his arm to grab Gohan. But the Earth Saiyan grabs his arms and spins Piccolo many times, until he finally launches him into the air. And after doing that, he launches an energy ball that Piccolo defends. But even the energy being very small, it is enough to create a huge explosion that injures Piccolo heavily, who returns to the ground badly injured. They stare at each other for a moment, but then they both smile. Piccolo returns to his base form as he apologizes to Gohan, saying that he cannot offer Gohan a challenge no matter how hard he tries. Also returning to his base form, Gohan consoles Piccolo saying that everything is fine and that he did his best. Despite Gohan's consolation, Piccolo is frustrated that Gohan will no longer progress in training with him. He says that for Gohan to evolve, he needs someone who really pushes his limits. 
Returning to Beerus' planet, Wiss ends the transmission on his staff, and Beerus, who was now watching along with him like a gossip cat, remarks that Gohan isn't going too badly, and even Piccolo has improved well. But after realizing what's going on, Beerus gets very angry, asking if Wiss is thinking of bringing more people to his planet. With a begging expression, Wiss says, please, very gently. But Beerus, taking a good look at everyone on his planet, such as Goku, Brawly, Vegeta, chi Lai, and Limo, responds to Wiss that he won't allow any more people there. Wiss tries to convince him by saying that Gohan won't stay for long, as he apparently has other things to do besides training. And he also says that by going to Earth to bring Gohan, he can bring delicious food from Bulma's house. Beerus ends up being convinced by these words and so he decides to allow it. After Beerus' permission, Whis goes to planet Earth to invite Gohan. Normally, Gohan would use work as an excuse for not going, but as Whis had been watching him for a few days, the angel already knew that Gohan was on vacation from his job. The next justification he tried to use was that he needed to take care of Pan, but Piccolo wouldn't let him give that justification, telling Whis that he and Videl can take care of Pan, as they usually already do that for Gohan, especially him. Piccolo said this because he really wanted Gohan to train properly. With no more justification to give, Gohan had no choice but to accept Whis's proposal, and so they returned to the Beerus planet, but not before visiting Bulma for some treats, of course. When Gohan and Whis arrive, Whis announces to the Saiyan trio that they will have a new training partner for a while. This causes curiosity in Brawly, who didn't know Gohan until that moment, and surprises Goku and Vegeta, who don't understand how Gohan could be relevant in their training. Whis explains that he hasn't been satisfied with Goku, Vegeta, and Brawly's training lately, and that reason for that is that they're already used to training together, especially Goku and Vegeta, so getting to know each other so well, sometimes they fail to bring about the necessary surprise of combat. Gohan, on the other hand, acquired a new power, and this is a novelty that can improve their evolution. After Whis says these things, everyone is even more curious, and now they all want to face Gohan to see what his new power level is. Since everyone wants to face Gohan, they need to decide the order, and they do that through Joken Po. This time, the winner is Goku, who's very excited. After it's decided who will be Gohan's first challenger, Whis takes them all to another dimension so that the universe won't be destroyed by the high-level fight that will ensue. When they arrive at the battle, everyone backs away and only Goku and Gohan remain close to each other. Goku reveals to his son that he was always proud of the great potential he had to fight, but that he was a little disappointed that Gohan didn't explore this potential. He says that he hopes Gohan will give him a good fight, as he knows he has what it takes. Gohan tells his father he won't let him down this time, and then he transforms. Goku, Vegeta, and Brawly are very surprised to see the beast form, as it doesn't look like an ordinary Saiyan transformation. Goku can feel the great power of this transformation and says that he's impressed with Gohan. After saying that, he starts using Ultra Instinct and says that Gohan doesn't deserve anything less than that. Goku and Gohan smile as they make their combat stance, and then charge towards each other with a blow. And when these blows collide, a huge impact wave is created, impressing even Vegeta and Brawly. Father and son start the combat. Who will win? Find out in the next part. So guys, what do you think of this story? Want to see more? If the answer is yes, then please like this video, comment and share it with your friends. If this video gets a lot of likes, views, and new subscribers, I'll bring you part 2, saying who's stronger, Ultra Instinct Goku or Gohan Beast, and I'm going to do that by bringing a good justification. Thank you for watching this far, until the next time, goodbye.